In graphic arts, pre-flight is a term used for quality control. The term was of course borrowed from aviation, where the pilot needs to check their aircraft before taking off. And this process is called pre-flight. Usually it involves a pre-flight checklist that makes sure all essential parts of the plane and navigation equipment are in the right order. In graphic arts, the same term is used to refer to checking the quality of a native document, such as an Adobe InDesign or Quark Express document, or checking the quality of a PDF document. In this context, the pre-flight profile is very similar to the pre-flight checklist used in aviation. A pre-flight profile contains the rules that are important for our PDF document and that need to be checked before the PDF can move on to the next step in the workflow. Common things you'll find on such a checklist would be which colors can be in the PDF, that all fonts need to be included in the PDF, overprint rules for black and white objects, and much more. So let's look at this in PDF Toolbox. I have the Profiles window already open. If you have not, you can find it under Tools and then Profiles, or you can press Command 3 on Mac, Control 3 on Windows. In the Profiles window, I can see Groups, and I can see the actual profiles by twirling down one of these groups. Like I said before, each of these profiles is a list of requirements that we want to check our PDF files against. The only twist that PDF Toolbox adds is that preflight profiles can not only contain checks, but also corrections. So you can check the PDF file against the list of rules, but you can also include corrections if you want to fix potential problems. Whether or not you choose to do that is up to you. It usually depends on your place in the workflow and on what you are allowed to do with the PDF files that come into your workflow. Let's see what we have inside such a pre-flight profile in PDF Toolbox. I will select one of the Gantt workgroup based profiles such as sheet fed offsets. And by selecting it, I can already see the comment that was included in that profile. And now I can edit that profile or view its contents by clicking on the edit button that appears on the right hand side of the profile name. And this opens up a relatively big profile window and you can see that the content I have here on the right is grayed out. The reason it is grayed out is because my profile is currently locked and this is something that you will see in all standard profiles that are shipped with PDF Toolbox. They are however not locked by password and I can simply switch them to unlocked if I want to see a little bit clearer what is going on. A profile consists of different pages and that you can see on the left, I have the name of the profile and then I have the document page, the pages page, images and so on and so on up until summary. So all of these together define what is included in this particular profile. On the main page of the profile, I have the profile name, the description we saw in the list, and then information about the author. I can even include an initialization script in my profile, but of course that is more of an advanced feature. Then the first pages in this profile give me easy to use checks. And for each of these, I can switch the severity level between error, warning, info, or inactive. Inactive, of course, means that this is an item that is not important to me. Info means that I want it reported, but it probably has no actual effect on the PDF document. Warning means that this could be something that someone needs to look at, but it's not guaranteed to be a problem in my workflow. And of course, error is something that should stop the file in the workflow and something that needs to be fixed before the file is allowed to go further. So for each of these items in all of these early pages in the profile, I can use the same system and set individual requirements to error warning info or inactive.
there are two pages in here that are much more important than the others. And those are custom checks and custom fixups. And these look very complex, but actually they are not really that complicated. Custom checks shows me a list of all the checks in my current library on the right. So everything I see here are checks that are present somewhere in my active library. And the list in the middle shows which of these checks have been added to my current profile. So this list contains all items that have been included in my current profile. And for each of these, I can see the name, I can see the description, and I can see the severity level to which it was set. This yellow exclamation mark means that this item is set to warning. I can change the severity by selecting the item in the list and then changing the severity level to error or warning or information. And you can see that that also is reflected in the list we have here at the top. The same thing is true for custom fixups. There I have a list of all fixups in my active library, and I have a list of fixups included in my profile. These fixups may or may not modify a PDF file when I use this profile. Fixups will only modify a PDF file if necessary. We can see one example here called discard all JavaScripts. This is a fixup that will look for JavaScripts in a PDF document that is being processed, and if it finds them, it will remove them. So such a fixup might change the document, but if there is no JavaScript in the document to begin with, then it will not. Okay, let's back out of this profile. I'm going to use cancel on this one and then say, yes, I want to discard the changes I made and select that profile in the list. And then I can run it by clicking either analyze or analyze and fix. Analyze will only run the checks that I have in the document. Analyze and fix will also run the changes. And if I click Analyze and Fix, PDF Toolbox is going to ask me where I want to change this document or what name I want to use. And I could give it a different name and say Save. The result of running a profile is a list of things that were done while the profile was being run on the PDF file. And that includes which fixes were done and what problems were found. And in this example, you can see lots of fixes. You can see that there is one error that is still there and that there is one warning that still appears. And as a result, PDF Toolbox shows me a red cross because this document could not be completely fixed to comply to this particular profile. Don't forget to check help.calasoftware.com for more information about profiles or watch the other videos in our YouTube channel to learn about checks, fix-ups and much more.